How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And it is a uh, chili milk stout time in a form of this year's 2016 Stone's Chocoveza. Uh, I haven't had this beer since its first iteration two years ago. Didn't have it last year. Not that it wasn't available in my area, but it was uh, not as widely released. And I uh, just never had it. And even though I love the beer... Uh, just kind of skipped me by, but um, I was walking through my local bottle shop today, saw it, and I said, man, got to give it a whirl, got to give it a review. So, uh, yeah, let's dive into it, because I dug this sucker two years ago, but I've heard things have changed, as beers do over time, but let's hope for the best. As far as th what this says in a bottle, it says, Jokovesa Stone, uh, a winter-spiced mocha stout brewed with cocoa, coffee, peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg, 8.1% alcohol by volume. Huge story in the back that I'm not going to read. Basically, this was a... Um, a uh, collaboration for their uh, kind of homebrew kind of thing. They do that kind of a uh, small brewery, home brewery, stone kind of collab. That's where it was born out of. Um, actually, I probably have the bottle floating around here somewhere. I think there's a couple things different on this one that I am not sure if they're different. So let's see if there is a little bit of a difference going on. Um, Choco Mocha Stout they have on here, Winter Spice Mocha Stout. They all brew with cocoa, coffee, peppers, it says here and here. Peppers, okay. Vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, all the same stuff. Same ABV, so I'm just kind of making up shit in my brain. It was part of their, uh, I don't know if they have the actual series on here that it was from, um, but it was originally uh, Chris Banker, Stone, and Insurgent was the uh, three uh, brewers involved in it. So, yeah. Um, Styling-wise, love the old one. Uh, dug it. The new one, it's just classic Stone. It's got your Stone kind of logo devil on there. But here's the biggest thing, and this is me, you know, I like my labels, I like to talk about, they are on beers, it's a sticker, okay? This is just like a slapped on little kind of like thing that you could probably peel off super easy, you know what I mean? There he goes, so that's a bummer, man, because I've always liked Stone's labels, I love screen printing on beers, and to see them kind of go this route as far as um, cheapness, I guess you'd say, it's kind of a bummer. Um... Uh, if that reflected in the end price of the beer, then more power to them. But I don't think the beer is any cheaper. Granted, it came in 750s, or not 750s, 500 milliliter when it first came out, and then moved to these 12 ounce bottles. But the price didn't change. And uh, yeah, super bummed about that. And the old label is fucking awesome. Anyway, enough about the label. Let's get in this sucker, see what she has to offer. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I'm a, uh, if you've watched a good portion of my reviews, you will know that I am a whore for uh, chilies, um, a whore for milk stout. I like that kind of play on each other flavor-wise. I like how it kind of gives you the illusion that things are going to get too hot, but they don't really get too hot. So that just kind of works for me. So hopefully it's much the same here. The old school one was really delicious. Um, two fingers, perfect on spot, malted malt ball color, infinite creaminess, kind of like a little bit of gravity defying creaminess if you can kind of catch it there um really compact bubbles i mean it looks like a milk stout it looks like it has something that's lactose involved and it's nice and hefty so oh roasted roasted malts from here almost coffee like so yeah let's get a nose on the sucker chilies definitely i'm getting a nice kind of non-heat chili it's more of a spiciness rather than a heat um chocolate's definitely there it's somewhere between a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate like a semi-sweet chocolate Definitely get a little bit of those lactose vibes going on, a nice sweetness, and that might be where I'm getting kind of that dark chocolate with a little bit of milk chocolate. It's kind of a combination of lactose and chocolate. A little bit of cinnamon, not really getting much nutmeg, and that's pretty much it. It smells like it has a nice silky smoothness to it, 8.1%, not getting any booze whatsoever. It reminds me of what I remember from a couple of years ago. So, and, it, and uh, for you date Nazis uh, out there in the world, this is um, a week and a half old. Yeah, so there you go. Anyway, yeah, smells delicious. So she looks good. She smells fucking awesome. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Fucking delicious is what it is, man. I can drink this beer all fucking day. Everything I'm getting in the nose there is there in the mouth, and it's so well balanced. The chilies are there, but it's it doesn't really carry much heat, but it does have a little bit of building heat now that I've swallowed and let it sit. 
but the lactose is keeping that in check. And chocolate is there, but it's not a number one player. It's more like, I don't even want to say it's not a number one player. Every every flavor plays its part, but it's all like um, well balanced, and, and they're each giving their own kind of portion of the show. So you get those chilies, you get a little bit of green kind of vegetal kind of finish on it too, which I dig. Um, you're getting the um, the chocolate there that's sweet but not too sweet, but also with the lactose makes it make kind of milk chocolatey, but at the same time you get the chilies that are kind of, you think they might build a little bit, but they never do because of the lactose. The cinnamon is there, but it's that's definitely below those to give you a little bit of underlying kind of spiciness. And then what was the last thing? I think it was nutmeg. I'm not really getting much of nutmeg in there. Vanilla. I'm not big in vanilla. Not that I don't like vanilla, but I just don't pick it up all that well. So the other thing was um, coffee. Um, I got that burst, as you would say, from the nose. I was like, ooh, roasted malt. So it was more of a roasted coffee. Not getting a ton of coffee off of it. But if, if it's there and I'm hunting for it, it's right below the cinnamon. But they're all in the places they should be, I think. Um, really nice mouthfeel, super creamy. This is a fucking fantastic beer. That's it. It's a fantastic fucking beer. Um, and I've heard people kind of like talk about it like last year's, oh, it's not the same. Or, oh, this year even, you know, the gentleman I was talking to at the bottle shop, I was like, oh, you, he's like, I had it last night. I was like, how's it compared to the first year? He's like, oh, nothing's going to compare to the first year. I think it compares, man. I mean, you know, being a year and... and one, two years removed, it's hard to really compare because even if you had a bottle right now, a lot of those flavors would fall off and it would be a little bit more disjointed than what it originally was. But where it stands now, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's just as good as the original. And uh, that does not suck. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. Is one of the better... Um, is it one of the better uh, cocoa, coffee, peppered, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmegged mocha stouts I've had, yeah, of course, because who the fuck does that? Uh, is it one of the better milk stouts I've had as a lead? Let's go that generic. Yes. Um, I can drink this all day, and I'll never hate this. I'll never turn this down. This is absolutely fantastic. Probably, far and away, the best beer I've ever had by Stone. Yeah. It's that good. Um, and I'm not a big Stone guy. I'm not a Stone apologist. I'm not a big fan of their beers across the board, but when they get it right, I dig it. And this one, hey, you fucking struck gold. Um... Value and availability. I think I paid four bucks for a single bottle, so that was sixty dollars for a four pack. I'm sure, it's cheaper than that if you actually buy them in a four pack format. But four bucks can't fucking argue about that because that's pretty fucking damn good. Availability, like I said, last year is a little bit sketchy. Not n nearly as readily available this year. I just randomly saw it, picked it up. So your mileage is going to vary. If you get stone, you'll probably get it in your area. But as far as how much you'll see, who knows? And just say if you like what, what do you like this? If you like the original Choco Vesa, uh, if you like chili beers, if you like chocolate beers, if you like creamy beers, if you like milk stouts, and if you like good fucking beer, you like this beer because guess what? It's good fucking beer. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beautiful chili milk stout right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.